Hi, my name is Chanel. Welcome back to my channel. So today I wanted to show myself uh, working on this Gordon Ramsay red snapper recipe. So I followed it a little bit um, and then I put my own spin on it. So right now you just see me starting off with the rice. So I'm just letting the water get hot. Um, I'm going to add a little olive oil and salt to this water. Um, so I want it to to make my rice a little more flavorful. I was tired of white rice. So after I did that, I added in some chicken bouillon and I let that simmer and just treated it just as you would with making regular rice. So this is the red snapper. It's a one filet. It was so expensive. I did not expect it to be that expensive. Um, so it was like $22 or $23 for one filet. So I'm like, oh, uh-uh. <laughs> but here's me um, cleaning off the, the snapper. I'm using lemon and vinegar, but you don't see it. Um, so I'm just cleaning it off and thoroughly getting it like from being slimy and scaly and trying to scrub the skin as best I could. Then I'm patting that dry and I'm gonna cut it into three fillets um, because that's what I was able to get out of this one. So it's very meaty. So these smaller fillets weren't like, oh yeah, we're like missing out on anything. It actually was very filling. So I'm just putting that lemon on there and letting it rest on there just to let the flavor soak in. And then you see my green onion and my asparagus. So asparagus is going to be our vegetable for tonight. Um, and then I'm just basically prepping them uh, for to be cooked. And I'm getting out all my vegetable and like sauce ingredients there. And I love to use fresh garlic over like garlic powder if I can. Um, it's usually better. So I'm prepping all my uh vegetables to be rinsed and then i'm adding my one cup of rice to that chicken bouillon and water now i'm just taking the butter and you see it already got brown so he said to get it really hot and simmery and then i'm also going to remove these after they simmer on both ends and i'm going to put them in the oven on 350 for i think another 10 15 minutes um just to let them actually cook through so after they get simmered and like get browned on both sides to like get that aesthetic, um, we want them to be more tender and smooth. So that's what you put them in the oven for. Okay, so now I'm adding the butter to the pan again and that fish sauce, that leftover fish like flavoring. And then I'm adding a teens, that's a little of the olive oil again. And then we're gonna make the base for our sauce. So we're gonna use the butter and the olive oil, add those lemons back into the pan. Um, just let them cook and let the sauce the juice soak up that lemon flavor. And then we're going to take our vegetables and cut them up. So. The green onion is getting cut up now, and I'm just chopping that to the best of my ability to get all the green onion in. Onion is really good for flavor. I feel like onion is a good flavor addition instead of using like more salt or like something spicy. If you don't want spice, onion is a good like flavor booster, I believe. So it, it works for me, I think. Chopping the garlic and adding that in and then I'm just going to half these grape tomatoes. Some of them I did cut into fours because they were bigger than I norm than I normally should be. Um, so once I do that, add my seasonings. I don't remember what seasonings this is. Honestly, I don't remember. <laughs> that is a uh, peppercorn though. I know that. Um, and then I'm also adding that chicken bouillon to the sauce. And I let that get in and mix it in really well. And then I cover it. So after I um, have these tomatoes, I'm going to add those in as well. And I'm going to turn down the heat to a simmer. So that way they can just soak up the water and steam and let those uh, get soft. And 
And then I'm just taking this wooden spatula and I'm using that to mash the grape tomatoes just so they can like get more soft and like uh, cook into the sauce. I want it to be like a tomato based sauce. And this is something that I saw in the video that Gordon Ramsay used. I'll link the original video below. It's like a quick five minute video off of like a clip from his show. So I just looked up a good snapper recipe and that's what popped up. So that's what I'm following. And this is just me prepping the asparagus. So I wash them as you can see. And then I'm about to dice or, uh, you know, cut some cubes of um, butter. So I put uh, peppercorn and a little salt on there, just a little bit. Um, it's sea salt, by the way, not regular salt. And I'm doing the butter. And then I'm just going to let those go into the oven as well as I take out the fish. what our meal turned out like you got that yellowing on the rice it looks so good you have yellow green and you have that brown on the fish with the ready tomato i think it looks great um and i think it was a great addition you know a good mix of colors so thank you so much for watching this video have a great day and please like and comment um if you like these types of videos please let me know if you're fucking with it have a great one bye